You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, YNR fans. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I have got a full roster of exciting weekly spoilers for you. This runs the week of Monday, March 11th through Friday, March 15th. We've got stuff going on with Ashley and Tucker and Audra, with Chelsea and Adam and Connor. Of course, lots of Jordan stuff. We got some very interesting Phyllis and Nick stuff. I'm so excited to unpack all this for you. If you haven't, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. Now let's jump right into what's coming next week because we have a huge return that has me just on the edge of my seat. Monday, March 11th, 2024 is season 51, episode 110. So we have Nikki spending time with Claire after Victor and Michael take off to deal with the Jordan problem. Nikki has been telling Claire stories about her life, stories about the family, and she's just so worried about Victor and Jordan. She's not really up to story time, but then Claire asks her to tell her how she met Victor, and that gets Nikki in the mood to share. I was very curious when I first heard this spoiler to know if Nikki would hold back on some of the more unsavory aspects of her early life, like her stripping, like that prostitution ring stuff, you know, her scandalous behavior, but she doesn't. Nikki unpacks the whole scandalous, sordid past and then how she met Victor and how he basically made a lady out of a, you know, impoverished, wrong side of the tracks stripper. So that's interesting. They have an, a really interesting, nice talk. But then Claire is also worried after they have a discussion about her grandmother, Eve Howard, that she might have inherited Jordan and Eve's craziness. She's worried that it's in her DNA and Nikki reassures her, which I think is very nice. We've got Victor and Michael facing off with Jordan Howard in this alley on a loading dock. And the mustache has a bag for her that's got money. He's got a deed to a French chateau for her. He's got fake IDs so that she can leave the country, go away. Jordan is scoffing and mocking. I don't think she trusts any of this. She wants to know if he has the chateau rigged to blow up. She's holding Michael and Victor at gunpoint, and she is definitely going to get away from them. Meanwhile, Nick runs into a very drunk Phyllis who's very dejected after Danny rejected her and chose Christine. And he wants to get food in her to try and sober her up. They head up to her room at the GCAC. And then she tries to seduce him. She thinks she'll feel better if she can get some nookie. But she gets rejected again. And I'm interested to see if this is just too much for her because she has definitely lost it. She's completely unhinged. That takes us to Tuesday, March 12th, which is episode 111 of season 51. Nick makes a, a big, bold move. I'm very interested about that. He, I don't think it's anything to do with Phyllis because he walks out of the room. He is not going to sleep with her. She did bring up the whole Sally breaking up with him for Adam. So I wonder if Nick is marching off to maybe stake a claim on, I don't know, I'd like to see him with Sharon because I'd like to see Sharon at all. And she just seems to be MIA lately. Victor has a plan to get revenge on Jordan. So I guess she gets away from him. None of his plans to entrap this woman seem very clever because she remains elusive and on the loose. Meanwhile, Victoria Newman has to defend her daughter, Claire, on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, March 13th, it's episode 112 of the current season. Somebody drops in and surprises Daniel Romilotti. And guess who it is? It's Lily Winters. And guess when she stops by? In the morning. And guess who is at Daniel's place? Both Heather and Lucy. They're all three sitting there having breakfast together. Is Lily going to assume that Heather spent the night? Is Daniel going to be able to offer up a bunch of excuses to try and gloss over why his ex is there first thing in the morning? Lily is kind of smug, I think, in these scenes where she just wants her parents back together and she knows that means that Lily and Daniel 
will have to blow up. So I don't think he's going to get any help from that quarter. And later in the week, I'm not sure when, I've seen a photo from episodes in the week, but I don't have a date on it. Daniel is out with Heather at Society, and he is holding her hand in public. Just across the table, not like side by side, but to me, that seems like maybe everything is finally blown up. Or it's about to, if Lily sees that. Devon is facing off with Billy on Wednesday at the office. That seems like same old, same all. I am so not interested in the crap going on at Chancellor Winners. I don't care if they change the name of the company to Toys R Us. I don't care. I do not know why they are putting us through this painfully boring office scenes. Anyway. Victor is determined to protect Nikki Newman from herself and also from Jordan. So we'll see how that ramps up midweek. And that takes us to Thursday, March 14th, which is episode 113 of the current season. Abby Newman has to play Peacemaker. This could be at the office because she is joining the team at Chancellor Winners. I think she's going to be on the board or something. So, you know, Abby is probably comfortable playing Peacemaker with her boyfriend, Devon, and her brother, Billy. Or no, is he her uncle? He's her uncle, not her brother. That's right. He's her mom's brother. So many interrelated people. <laughs> so poppers and family trees that don't branch properly. That's her uncle. So Abby, it seems like is probably stuck between her man and her uncle trying to get everybody to de-stress. And Ashley continues to give mixed signals to Tucker. She showed up to his room. She's trying to kiss him. She's trying to talk him into taking her to Paris instead of Audra. She's having these fugue states. She's made up a fake therapist. She's hearing voices in her head. When is somebody going to realize this and get her into therapy? Because it's very disconcerting. Daniel has to make a tough choice on Thursday. No, he just really needs to tell the truth. This spoiler to me is, is badly written because it's not a tough choice. He's already banging somebody else. He needs to do the right thing. It's not a tough choice. It is manning up, finding some testicular fortitude and telling the truth to Lily and hoping that he doesn't get fired. I hope he does. Friday, March 15th, we're going to end the week with season 51, episode 114. Audra Charles is standing firm with Tucker. She is not interested in him playing any reindeer games with his ex. She thinks his ex is trying to steal him away because his ex told her very clearly that she's trying to steal him away. And Tucker is just confused, but I think also has some residual concern about Ashley. Chelsea and Adam have to work together to help their son, Connor. And Summer and Kyle are also facing a parenting challenge. I wonder if Kyle might use that as an opportunity to try and slide closer back to Summer, but Summer's got her mind on chance and good for her. We will see how this all goes, but that is all of the YNR weekly spoilers I have for you. Please click subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss any of our YNR updates. Definitely drop your comments on what you're excited to see next week. Are you hoping to see a big explosive breakup between Daniel and Lily? Or are you hoping it's a mature and polite conversation? I'm hoping for a fight. I'm hoping she slaps him and maybe slaps Heather too. That's what I'm hoping for. Drop your comments. Come back soon. We're here talking Young and the Restless seven days a week. And as always, I am Belinda from Soap Dirt. It's just difficult trying to be the person that my kids want me to be. And at the end of the day, I just feel alone. I'm afraid I'm just not up to telling stories tonight. Not even the legendary story of how Nikki Reed met Victor Newman? Don't make me a liar to my wife. No heroics, no surprises. I promised Lauren I'd be home in a couple of hours, safe and sound. Lauren has nothing to worry about, okay?